Hi everyone, welcome back to the session. So friends, today we're going to learn scheduled services. Okay, so how you can define your like whatever services you define on your designer. If you want to perform some scheduled task, so how you can do that. So in order to do that, first login integration server. Okay, click on server option. And here we have a scheduling option. So create a scheduled task, click on that. Here you need to mention some description. So schedule task this is description here we require folder dot subfolder colon service so let me get into designer i'm creating one folder here so click on package new folder name would be a, a scheduled task okay after that click on finish so i'm creating one flow service right click new flow service give the name as a schedule service click on finish your concat demo you can mention concat demo after that click on finish now we require one map step also we need to define input output so take one string value one take another string value two So to store the result, we require one field here, result. After that, click on save. Go to tree tab. Click on map step. Here we require one uh, transformer. You just transformer expand it. Value 1 to instinct 1. Value 2 to instinct 2. Value 2 result. After that, click on save. Now, to log particular message on integration server we require one debug log click on insert here debug log is there so take one debug log here mention the message as the concat value is is percent result percent first off click on ok after that don't forget to uh, click this checkbox pop home pipeline variable substitution and then click on ok after that function as a mention function here and the next would be a level as a info click on ok click on save and here we don't require this uh, unwanted variable so real time you can drop it to increase the service performance okay. then click on save so now we're done with our code so this service we need to define some schedule tasks how we can do that let me get into the integration server okay copy this service name and paste it there so control c here you need to mention the um, i think it's not copy so always right click and then copy and then paste it here okay now we need to assign some inputs so value one would be a software and value two would be a software uh, like ag you can click on save run as user administrator click on okay any is uh, here two nodes are there any server means no matter the server is whatever server you uh, like whatever server the link the particular server is taking care of and another would be a local it means this is my local server so i am using this desktop local server here and there are three types of a task overview okay so first is run immediately second is skip and run at a next schedule interval here you need to define some minutes and third one is a suspend so we need to like describes of definitions so run immediately means run the task immediately no matter how late the task is second skip and run at the next schedule time means skip this execution of a task and run it again at the next schedule run time so this option is not available for tasks that run just once and suspend means place the task in suspended state until an administrator resume or cancel the task so these are the definition then so I'm selecting this run immediately option and here you can see schedule type and details. So run once. It means 
it will execute only one time whatever date and time you mention it will execute that particular timeline and after that it will vanish automatically so if you not mention any date here it will take a current date but i am mentioning the date as a today's date so 28 uh, sorry yyy two zero two three slash one two slash Mm, 28 okay timing so mm, 0 9 then 47 then 0 0 okay after that click on save task you specified the date in the past you specified the date in the past so let me check So create a schedule task description. So concat demo. Assign some input software AG. Run as a click on save. Run as administrator. Click on as here desktop and run immediately. After that, run once and 28 the date timing we mentioning as a 09 48 and 00 yeah one two okay and click uh, again 49 and then click on scheduled save task so now the particular scheduled task like schedule service got created on integration server so whatever uh, one time services you have it will come under this particular section and complex repeating tasks schedule services comes under this second section okay so refresh it whatever timing you mention refresh so 34 31.3 again refresh the 28 24 then 21 18 14 11 8 5 5.2 okay now you can see here uh, the timing like uh, the service automatically vanished because you mentioned the run once that's why it will execute it so you need to verify it's executed or not data case click on logs and server here you can see the output is the concat value is software age now again go to server scheduling so we are creating another schedule task description same service also same assign input also give there is a web method web methods and click on save run as administrator here desktop and now if the task is overdue we are uh, choosing the second option skip and run at the next schedule interval and if more than one minute we mentioning the timeline and now the repeating task with a simple interval so click on repeating if you have not mentioned the start date start time end date end time it will take a current date current timing and uh, repeating after completion you can mention the interval here as a 50 50 seconds okay and again click on save task and refresh it so once you refresh it so it will created this task okay now time you can see the next run 38.6 seconds again refresh it refresh it 30.6 25 22 19 okay 10.8 
six. Now I think we got to go two point eight. Okay. So okay. So this particular service got executed. So to check a logs, click on logs, and here you can see the concat value is Bagmat. Now we are discussing the third type. Description, schedule task, service same, assign input as a software is okay. Click on same. Run as a administrator and this one here we mentioning the run immediately, but complex repeating we are performing the task is complex repeating so start date start time end date end time as per your requirement you can mention and again the complex repeating means if you want to uh, execute the service at a particular date yeah all date yeah all time yeah all uh, months all days yeah weekly days yeah hours yeah minutes okay so whatever requirement if you have at a complex schedules then that case you can follow the repeating task with a complex schedule so i am using this uh, months january february march and december okay so yeah all month i am selecting after that all days weekly days all days all hours and all minutes so in that also if you not required this kind of a criteria as per your requirement like in december month if you want to uh, perform this execution only the 12 pm yeah 11 am yeah only sunday only saturday yeah, if you working on your uh, maintenance project that a time uh, after the goal io yeah after the uh, cut over you, you uh, like sunday if you have cut over okay that time you can need to mention one services like batch services you if you have and that case if you want to perform some this logic on sunday 12 noon yeah 12 uh evening that case you can uh, perform some kind of logic okay so 12 midnight yeah 11 am whatever logic yeah whatever service logic if you have you can mention here okay now click on save task So now, yeah, all months, all days, oh, everything you can see. And next run time second is 4.5. Just let me like uh, refresh it. So this service already executed. So go to logs. And here you can see the concrete value software AG. Okay. So guys, that's all about today's demonstration. Here we discuss how, like the way you can define your services on your uh, designer. And that particular services. Uh, as per your requirement you can performing the schedule task so the there are the total three ways as we discuss so let me get into the scheduler again click on server scheduling okay so here as we discuss there are three schedule types one time task repeating task and a repeating task with complex schedule okay so interview my task this kind of equation if you are uh, preparing for interviews and uh, this kind of a task yeah scheduler uh, if you are working on admin or support project yeah developer also this thing also important okay so if you like this video then guys don't forget to subscribe like share and comment okay thanks for watching have a great day ahead.